Bill Ryan from Project Camelot and Project Avalon and the date is the 16th of February 2010 and this is a bit of an unusual video presentation here because I'm taking the step of making a video as an interpretation and as a commentary on an audio interview which we did with an important witness who came and reported his story to Project Camelot a little while ago, uh, about a couple of weeks ago. And as with many of our witnesses, this person wanted to remain anonymous, but he has agreed that we transcribe the audio, and so. This is a British person, and he worked in the British military for a number of years, and after he retired from the military, he worked in the City of London in a fairly senior position, in a respected position, in the City of London. And then in the June 2005, he attended another meeting that he thought was going to be a routine meeting, but actually this was something rather unusual. And he realised it was unusual as soon as he arrived. In fact, in people there were... Masons, there were senior Masons. They were about 25 or 30 people there, including uh, senior politicians who most people in the UK would recognize by name. I do not know who they were. He didn't name them and I didn't ask them, but he said these are well known names. The chief of police was there representatives from the church, representatives from the military, 25 or 30 people. And then the next thing that happens in this, in this chess game that's being played is that biological weapons are released on China. He heard this being discussed in this meeting. They will release a flu-like virus that will be genetically targeted against the Chinese population. It's racially targeted against the Chinese people. It's designed to spread like wildfire and to knock out a large number of the Chinese people. And these people in this meeting were laughing about this. They said, China will catch a cold. Those were their words. China will catch a cold. And they were laughing about the fact that these biological weapons will, will wreak havoc among the Chinese population. And after that, then what effectively will be a kind of plague will actually spread right across the world to the West as well. Our source was not clear whether this was a Chinese retaliation or whether the thing would just spread out of control in the way that it would be very understandable if it did, whether it's racially targeted or not, these things actually mutate. So now you've got a situation where they're explaining this then he said that they have a name for this plan. This project has got a name. And, and I said, well, what is this name? He said, it is called the Anglo-Saxon Mission. The Anglo-Saxon Mission. Now, I'd heard that before. It was something historical, I think, to do with the Crusades quite a long time ago. But I hadn't heard it in the present-day context, and neither had he.